Welcome to this training video on combining sheets into a dashboard. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. This video will show you how to combine the different charts you have created into a single dashboard. As soon as we start combining charts, we will have to think about consistency of the design. Let's start with this map we built in the Creating Your First Charts video. Currently, it shows the sum of CO2 in kilotons emitted by each country. I would like to look at the average CO2 per capita, so I just drag CO2 per capita and drop it on top of CO2 in kilotons. Then, by clicking the arrow on the CO2 per capita pill, I can change my measure from a sum to an average. As the human eye is better at interpreting color contrast than bubble size, let's also use the average CO2 per capita to color code the map. To make the map easier to read, I will increase the size of the bubbles, use a border, and make my bubbles slightly transparent. I will also choose a color palette that resonates with the theme. CO2 emissions have a negative impact on our planet, so let's use a red-black diverging color palette to show that. Let's reverse it so that the biggest emitters appear in red and can be easily spotted, and use the full color range. You can see that only a few countries are in red, and this is because they have a much higher average CO2 per capita than the rest. I can adjust the color settings to correct this issue. When I click on Color, Edit Colors, and Advanced, I have the possibility to change the center value of my color palette. Let's use the average CO2 per capita across all countries, which is 4. Let's see the result. Now our color distribution is much better. So let's move to our next chart, this line chart that we created in the Logic of Charts video. We will combine it with the map, so we want a consistent design. As my line chart also shows CO2 per capita information, it would make sense to use the same color palette. Let's go back to the data pane, bring CO2 per capita on color, and use the same color settings. A red-black diverging color palette, reversed, used as full range, and centered on four. Now let's move on to our dashboard. I click on the new dashboard icon at the bottom, and you can see that the dashboard canvas looks similar to the worksheet, except for the absence of the dimensions and measures on the left side. Instead, there is this dashboard pane, which contains three elements. A size section, in which you can choose the size of your dashboard. It offers great freedom with automatic range and fixed size. For now, let's choose an automatic sizing that will fit our screen. Then there is the sheet section, which contains all the individual worksheets that we have created. Here, our map and our line chart. Finally, there is the object section, which contains additional elements we can add to our dashboard, like containers, text, images, web pages, and blank spaces. To combine our map and line chart, we just need to drag them one by one onto the white canvas and choose their relative position. I can get rid of the legends that do not add value and float the ones I want to keep to bring them closer to the chart they refer to. Finally, I'll give a title to this dashboard by ticking the Show Dashboard Title box at the bottom of the Object section. Double-clicking on Titles will open a rich text editor while you can customize your titles. I will rename the dashboard which country has the highest CO2 emissions per capita, 
highlight CO2 emissions in red and bold and center my title. I can also get rid of the titles that do not bring much information. Et voilà, here is our dashboard. Thank you for watching this Creating Dashboards training video. We invite you to continue with the adding interactivity to your dashboard video.